Hey sewists, welcome to moodfabrics.com. For today's one day sewing challenge, we're going to design three unique bucket hat looks before sending them off to the runway. But where are my materials? What goodies do we have today? Super cute, also cute, favorite color, fun lining, I'm sticking designers, let's get our challenge started. Using the sewing planner is an excellent way to keep all of your sewing projects organized. Use these croquis and templates to create a great canvas for translating your designs to real world projects. Bucket hats here. So for this bucket hat, we've only got three pattern pieces. We got a top, a base here, and a brim. Brim has one seam, as does the support piece. So I think what could be really fun is to maybe do some animal print, use my pop color for my base with a vinyl overlay. It's fun because the, the overlay has this kind of heart cheetah print. Now that we've got our game plan, let's put the pedal to the metal designers. Here's a list of the materials you can use to follow along with today's challenge. Or check out Mood's mystery boxes for a surprise design challenge of your own. Links in the description below. This will be my outer set of fabric and my lining. I'm gonna reinforce my vinyl with this fabric, align my notches, and I'm going to use wonder clips around the perimeter of these few pieces. Then I'm going to do a running stitch to secure them to each other before assembling all the pieces. So we'll have one set for the outer of the hat and one set of pieces for my lining. When sewing vinyl, you cannot use pins because they'll leave holes in the fabric. So instead, opt for Wonder Clips. Although they are a bit more bulky, they will keep your fabric safe, especially when you're at the sewing machine. They're a little bit easier to avoid sewing over. Now that we've applied our running stitch to the perimeter of all of our pieces to attach our vinyl to our stabilizing fabric, I'm gonna bring the brim pieces right sides together and join them half inch seam allowance at either side, as well as the top pieces either side. Then we're gonna join them all together and we'll have the outer layer of our bucket hat finished. So we've got our two base pieces that have been sewn together right sides facing. We lightly pressed open our seam allowances and we have the top of our hat. Top of our hat has four notches and the top edge, which is the more narrow opening of the base of our hat, has four notches as well. So with the base of our hat inside out, we're gonna align our notches. We're also going to align our second set of notches to the seam of the base of our hat. Another pro tip worth considering is that between your notches, there's always a center point, and that center point has to join from both of these pieces. What we're going to do is we're gonna place a notch in between notches. We've got our notch here and our seam. We're gonna fold this section of fabric in half. Gonna place another notch. And this helps when you're easing two pieces of fabric to each other because once you've got that center point on both pieces, you just align those two and you're good to go. And there you have it. The top of your bucket hat to the base of your bucket hat and then we will attach the brim. Now we have our side panel, our top panel attached, and our brim. So we're gonna attach these the same way as we did with our side panel and top. We're gonna flip everything to the wrong side and align our notches. We're gonna keep our seam as a notch to align this side to this side, and then clip the full perimeter of our hat. We'll repeat these steps for the lining. Then we'll have two sets of our sewn hat pieces and we'll bring them together right side spacing. Now that we have our brim wonder clips around the full perimeter of the base, we're going to use the arm of the machine to our advantage so that we can place this just as you would with sewing a sleeve and we can just continuously rotate it. Pro tip, when you are sewing, you should always start where the seam join is being created. 
at your seam allowance. That way you can hide your back tacking and it doesn't create bulk or any unevenness within other areas of your garment. Now we've got our self layer of our bucket hat ready to join to our lining. Repeat all of the previous steps to create the lining for your bucket hat. So now that we have our self and our lining bucket hats prepared, we're gonna bring them right sides together. We're gonna sew around the perimeter of the brim, making sure to align our seams to one another. Those will serve as our notches. Make sure you're using wonder clips because we don't wanna damage our vinyl. And as we sew around the perimeter of this hat, we wanna leave a three inch opening so we can flip the whole thing right side out. When attaching your lining to yourself, make sure that you leave your three inch opening so we can flip this to the right side. Before we flip our cap to the right side out, we're gonna trim down our seam allowance. Typically when you sew anything that's on a curve, you have to clip towards the seam allowance to release that. But in this case, we're just gonna trim it down to about a quarter inch and then we'll flip the entire thing right side out. Once you've pulled your bucket hat right side out, we're gonna tuck our facing into our self. We can run over to the iron and very gently press along the curve of the brim. Then we'll return to the sewing machine by tucking in our seam allowance and doing a top stitch to secure this edge. So now I'll be doing the top stitching along the outer perimeter of the brim of the hat and I'm changing my stitch width so that I can align my needle closer to the edge. So because I'm not using this stitch as a decorative feature and more of a functional feature, I want my top stitching to be as close as possible to the edge of my brim. Pro tip, considering that we had trimmed down our seam allowance, it's better that I do my top stitching a little bit more shallow so that my quarter inch doesn't pull out from the right side. We've completed the first of our three bucket hats for today's challenge. We've got our vinyl on the right side, and we've got it fully lined and clean finished with a top stitching around the brim. So now we're gonna jump into our second set of fabrics and we're gonna try for another design. For this design choice for bucket hat number two, what we're going to do is similar to our first style where we're layering a sheer fabric over an opaque. So I'll be using this moire as my base and my re-embroidered tool as my outer fabric. I love the fact that this has a little bit extra pop with these glitter bits and it's gonna add a lot of dimension to our bucket hat when it's complete. For this design, I opted for using the fusible for the brim of my hat to give it a little bit more stability. So now we're gonna run to the iron and we're going to fuse our moire layers of our brim of our hat. Press down with an iron for five to 10 seconds in each section and be sure that you've got wrong side spacing of your fabric and your interfacing. Now that we've fused both of our brim pieces, we're going to do our classic frame stitching using the longest stitch length on our machine to join both of these layers before we bring our brim pieces together to finish our hat. So now that we've done our frame stitching for all five of our panels of our bucket hat, we're gonna bring our side panel together. We're gonna bring that with a half inch seam allowance to join, same for our brims. And then we will attach all three of our pieces. Repeat all of the previous steps to create the lining for your bucket hat. Here we have it, our second bucket hat of the challenge. We've got our re-embroidered tool as our self layer, and we've got our lining layer as well. So what we're gonna do again, we're gonna take these right sides together, make sure that we line up our seam as our notch, place some pins, and then we'll sew the full circumference of the brim, leaving a three inch opening so we can turn the hat right side out. All right, so it's last but not least, we're gonna flip this bad boy right side out through our opening on our brim. And very gently, we're gonna turn our lining through first and then slowly but surely turn out the right side of our bucket hat, making sure to rip and destroy. Then to finish off our second look, we're going to add top stitching around the edge to secure our lining. What do y'all think of design number two? I think it's giving couture, high-end, Paris Fashion Week, but I'm not exactly sure what this is. Great, a third challenge. 
Oh wait, this isn't a third challenge. Oh, come on, Mood. I guess we're adding trim. Ooh, pretty chic. So we'll apply this trim by hand sewing with a needle and thread, thread to match, and I'll just follow along this seam line. Personally, I like the wrong side of this fabric more, but I feel like as a hat design, it would definitely pull your hair a bit. So to soften it up, we'll use this as the lining. I'm thinking to use this as the base. We'll support it with an actual lining fabric, and again, just so it doesn't tug on the hair, we'll do a tool overlay. All right, now we're on to challenge three of the day for our third design bucket hat. So what I've done is the same steps from my first and second style. I have my lining layer, then I placed my glitter tool over top, and I placed my tool over that as well, and finished with my frame stitching. Then we're gonna whip up this one, repeat all the steps for the lining, and it's off to the runway. <gasps> Time's up, sewists. It's off to the runway. looks is your favorite. You be the judge. Let us know in the comments section below. Like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified when our next sewing challenge video is released. Download the free bucket hat sewing pattern and show us what you can do using the hashtag MadeWithMood.